All right, welcome back everyone. Today we have a special treat for you. That's right, we're diving into the world of knife design with the incredible Keanu Alfaro, the creative mind behind several popular knives from well-known brands like Black Fox, Boker, Best Tech, Best Techman, QSB, and a whole lot more I'm not gonna read off. <laughs> yeah. Keanu seems to have a passion for both functionality and aesthetics, crafting knives that are not only tools, but works of art. Wow, we just... Yeah. We just monade him. We did. We did just monade yeah. him. We'll explore his design process, inspiration, what makes his knives stand out, in a crowded market, and so much more. Wow, I can't beat that. So grab your notebooks. Yep. Because it's going to be a, well, a sharp conversation. Yep. So let's welcome Keanu Alfaro. Go ahead. Yeah, there he is. Go ahead, dude. Just... We know how to build you up, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that mm -hmm. intro. That yep. Awesome. We do. We know how to build people up. Now, do we know how to break them down? Oh, yeah, but we won't do that on this video. <laughs> okay, that's the next video. All right, so you want to start us off, C? No, you go ahead. You want me to go ahead? Okay, so our first question. Um, how did you get into the business of designing knives? Were you inspired by another knife designer? Was it just a passion you had? Oh, well, frankly, it's kind of a boring story. I feel like my, my intro into knives is kind of like a lot of other people's. Um, you know, my dad had a little knife that he, he had one knife and he carried it to no end. And I saw that and I was like, that's cool. I want my own. Right. And so once I turned that age where I was able to, well, he gave me a knife, a little, little, um, slip joint. And I love that thing. I mean, I probably took it everywhere with me as a kid. And then once I, uh, turned 18, I just went on a buying rampage as, as buying as many knives as I could. And naturally it's, you start off, um, you know, with like gas, gas station knives. Oh, <laughs> he, he ninja. air quoted. Nice. You think are the, the coolest things in the world. And then you, mm -hmm. and then you, really, you know, pull back the curtain and you realize, Oh my gosh, look at this entire world of, of knives that, you know, I'm just scratching the surface. And so, um, and then I finally kind of heard that people were, uh, making a living making knives and I said wow how can I go do that and so I kind of started to research and and uh, study YouTube <laughs> thus Keanu was born uh, yes I, I taught myself CAD um, started fiddling around and and making things on CAD um, and I, I made uh, a design that I thought okay I think this is it I think this is it I reached out to a ton of knife manufacturers out there and um, I, I got one who came back and said, we like this. And I was just blown away. I just could not believe it. And that was the start. That was the start. That sounds like a perfect way to do it. I it don't is. Know. Just start designing CAD. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> learn CAD on your own. If you can do that. You can do anything. You can do anything. That's about right. The world is your oyster. Go ahead. So when you start to design a knife, do you look at like, is there a certain need you're trying to fill or is there an idea that you have in your mind? Yeah, I think, I think so. It, it starts off with, I think a lot of us collectors, right? We're looking mm. for something that fills a void in our collection, right? And so when I'm looking to fill that void in my collection, but I don't find something like it, like it, then I, I asked myself, maybe I could make that, right? And that's kind of really where my design process starts. You know, you're looking, you're collecting, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how many knives I have, but I don't just design knives. I love all, everybody's knives. I mean, I love collecting. I love, I'm the guy that if, you know, I, I meet you on the street and I can see the pocket clip hanging out of your pocket. Oh, he's uh -oh. checking pocket clips. He's pocket right? dumping, checking, watch yeah. out. PC check. I'm like, I'm, I'm all for it. I'll spend two hours with you, three hours with you talking about your EDC. Um, and so I just, I'm just, it's, it's such a hobby for me. I just absolutely love it. And, um, I, I, now I forget what the question was. It's all right. That's okay. Thank you. I think you oh, fully answered. Yeah. About, well, we were uh, just kind of like, like some, we know some designers like are inspired by certain things. Like, mm, I don't know, flowers, not naming any names. Oh, stop. So, 
we were just curious if maybe, you know, foreign weaponry inspired you or animals or... Uh, His is sure. fill a need. His is fill, see a need, fill a need. Well, it's definitely part of the need. And then I'm a big fan of uh, movies, cinema, TV, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and so if you see some of my designs, I'll, I'll pull influences from certain films that that I'm fond of. Uh, and that one, now I feel like we need Dundee's okay. giant bow. We have to stop you. What's, <laughs> your, fa what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie of all you time. You will be judged harshly. Okay, it's it's actually, uh, it's it's a no-brainer for me. It's Saving Private Ryan. That's my favorite movie of all time. Okay, that's that's I'm not... It's, it's, not it's not bad. Stuff. It's not bad. Yeah, is, we'll allow it. So we can expect a World War II Bowie from you one day. You know what? Keep keep wait keep uh, keep waiting. There there are some things. You know, I've for all the knives that I have out there on the market, I probably have hundreds more that have not seen the light of day. It's just a island of mit misfit toys. So if there's any companies listening to this, or anybody else for that matter, I've got a lot of things. You know, and a lot of a lot of I, I feel like this probably is the case for other designers out there too. That the, the designs you see on the market. Right, you may think, "Oh, these are cool," but I guarantee you, there's a hundred more behind that mm -hmm. that just didn't make it. Around. Things that you've drawn and you're like, or have done, and thought, "Well, that may not be exactly." I'm gonna try this, or I'm gonna do this, and you kind of keep those aside, and then you come back and you might like them a whole lot more later. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Where are you at on Keanu Reeves as an actor? Do you like him? Oh my gosh! I mean, you might see some of my designs out there that are influenced by some of his films. You know, the Baba Yaga, the Bill and Ted. Um, I try to incorporate, again, there's a, many designs. I didn't know the Bill and Ted. Kind of I, know the Bill and Ted. I knew the yeah, knife, but I didn't know it was his. Wow. Except we did a whole video. I know, I forgot. We did a whole video. Because the Baba Yaga the, thing today, I just saw it and I thought, oh, mm -hmm. I gotta get one of those. Well, we were going to ask him <laughs> if you've ever gotten like Keanu Reeves Matrix jokes. Yeah. And I was going to put on like the Matrix, you know, shirt and everything. But like, ah, he might yeah. not know. There's a possibility. Okay. That would be the dream. Yeah. So you, so you like him then? We'll go with that. I'm a big fan. I big am fan. also. I like his whole catalog. 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 <clears throat> All right, so we've noticed that uh, you've designed both folding knives, fixed blade knives, you know, new Bowie, Kubi Master Chief, Best Tech Lock, more recently the Ripley and the Turtle Punk folders with QSP. Is the process of designing those different or is it about the same? Like you just start off with filling a need and then you just go from there? Oh, I mean, I think uh, the design process varies ever, ever so slightly, but um more or less i have a very strict process i mean i'm a very creative person but i feel i have to have a system otherwise i'll just go all over the place so i do have a system that i kind of follow but in terms of you Break know, it down. sometimes i'll i'll have a design that i i just i just see it in my mind and i try to get it down on paper but i don't know a name for the knife yet i don't know the theme of it I kind of just let the vision of my head take it to where I think it needs to go. And then I'll take a step back and I'll look at it. And I'll sometimes ask myself, what does that look like? You know, what, what emotions does it give me? And so I'm trying to think, I feel like with the Ripley, that was the case. You know, I designed it. I didn't really know what the heck I was doing with it. Um, with, the, with the texturing on the handle and all mm -hmm. that. And then I took a step back and I looked at it. And I said, you know, that kind of looks like, like the the tail on a on a xenomorph from Aliens or something like that, right? Kind of that uh, nice. organic. I would have body, never guessed that. Aliens. Thing. A yeah. little bit. It was very subtle, and I I, I, I like subtle. Um, although it seems to me like a lot of the the industry, a lot of the market. Well, I don't know. I, I see a trend of people kind of wanting. Things are a little bit more out there. They're a little tired of, you know, that's been done, that's been done. Let, let's let's step it up. Let's make it a little bit crazier. And so I've been trying to do that a little bit more now with my design. I think we're getting a lot more younger collectors nowadays. So you uh, are getting the... More eclectic tastes. Different type of stuff instead of the traditional. Most of the people that purchase knives are, you Got know, it. well over 50. Oh, but that's changing. Mm -hmm. so. It's changing. Yeah, I, so cool. I mean, I, I, I'm, in, I'm in for all of it. I mean, I actually just, again, when I say I'm a true collector, I mean, I love collecting knives. I just picked up a, oh, it's on the way. 
um, a buck one ten. A one ten? A one ten. Really? I have a one ten. I have, yeah, so I have a buck one ten on the way. It's usually like a gateway knife. I'm so excited! I cannot wait for it to come in. I have a one twelve, I believe. Yeah. It's usually one or the other you already have. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have a 110. The so problem is when you have six. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, when you know right. you might have a problem. Like I'm, I'm thinking about your 112, and I actually I'm not going to say who I ordered it from, but I had to order one because it, it, was, a spe- it was a special edition. Stop talking. Ranger. <laughs> yeah. ns 30 v and I couldn't get that knife. So I ordered it oh, along yeah. with, you know, and got that in. So I would have another one also. We've just been cut. I have a case problem. So. Well, that that's true. You, do you know how that case. is. And she laughs at me because it's like, oh, another pocket knife. Trapper. Try always yeah. trappers. Always trappers. All right, let's move you on. You only deal in trappers. Only deal in trappers. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I think this one's you now. This you? one's me. Which one? Oh, this one here? Sure thing. All right, so it says, uh, you're obviously an established knife designer now because you've done ca- countless collaborations. Um have you ever been like overly critical of your designs or, you know, you, you made something or designed something and you take it to other people and say, what do you think of this? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that's a big challenge for a lot of designers out there. You, you, you become very, you know, hypercritical of your work and it doesn't make it any easier when you have, thousands of critics out there right mm-hmm. <laughs> uh sweeting a little bit of that as well so you're it's like 15,323 ah, I, I feel like it comes down to you know i heard i, I got some advice from i don't want to say their name but i got some advice from a very well known you would know who this person is in the knife industry this is a legend it's in the not industry. gonna name drop though it's but, good uh, yeah i can't name drop but uh i got some fantastic advice from them about you know, being your, you know, authentic self, right? At the end of the day, just be, be yourself. And if you can communicate that through, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are like you too. So, I, you know, they'll appreciate um, the, the effort that you wow. put into. So I, I kind of just try to Just got it. deep. You know what I noticed? It, it, it got deep. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to go there. But. It wasn't profanity lace, so it wasn't Greg Metford. <laughs> So, uh, that's true. Trying to, that's true. Trying to, um, uh, uh, yeah, that's all right. We yeah. understand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Got me a little choked up there. He did just a little bit. He did right just, there, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you mentioned that you know you're an EDC like gear nerd. Uh, other than knives, what other gear related tools or gadgets do you collect or carry? Oh, he's got to collect oh. something. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, other than yeah, I collect tons of other stuff other than knives. I love, so. I love watches. I'm a big. Watch. Oh. oh! Okay, do you have a watch winder? Do I have a watch on? A watch winder. A watch winder? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so how many watches does your winder hold? Okay, so I only, well, I have three watch winders. I don't have, like, one watch winder with, that would, that's that's on the list. Yeah. Because it, that's definitely on the list. I need to get that. But I have, I, I just, I try to wear my watches. So I try I'm, to, too. I, I'm the guy that will wear three watches in the day, right? I'm just like, I got to take this off, put it on. Right now, I'm flipping between three different watches, and and everything else is kind of collecting dust. But I, oh, man. yeah, That, that yeah. happens. I, I have tons of them. And then right. I, I, like, I got this Tissot a few months ago. Should I let them And I just, the I keep putting it on over and over and over. And even standing there looking at it, I look at them and go, Hmm. And I choose that one. And playing favorites. And like some of them I'll buy, they'll be really nice. Like I bought this Gucci watch that I really wanted. It was limited edition. And then when I got it, I was like, wow, it, it's not quite as nice as the picture. Right. You know, there's right. lots of pictures. It was nice, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of plain. I like silver band, white okay. dial face. You know, I don't wow. need a lot of the fancy... You know, I like the heartbeat style where you can see through at times. But Shouldn't have started them on most watches. Most everything I buy is older. Older than us. Oh, okay. So, like older than us. Style. Yeah, we'll have to talk about this more because... Older know, than that's us. another video. <laughs> I knew you did watches. As long as you don't do teapots, we're okay. I yeah. Mean, teapots. Yeah, we draw the line the teapots. at teapots. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I saw it there. <laughs> what was that you were wearing? 
So this is um, it's a Rolex Air King. I don't know if I'm gonna oh, talk. oh, that no. was my first watch. Yeah, fifty five hundred. Oh, yeah, I see wow. it. Wow, fifty five hundred. Okay, so you I got, actually wow. I was. Had a good time. I was out one day at a yard sale. I am not kidding you. And this guy's like, I got this watch here. And I looked at it. And he said, it don't run. And I'm like, it doesn't, huh? And I shook it a little bit. I'm like, what do you want for it? He's like, a hundred bucks. And that's been a long time. It's been about eight, 12, 12 years or so. It was a, it was a while. But it was my, I actually liked it so much that I bought a 1962 Tudor. Uh, that okay. looks Prince date, just like it, and I wear it all the time. That's a good watch you have right there. You never get rid of that watch. Yeah, I, I love this thing. This is one of those three watches. So on this, an Omega, and a Seiko, uh, uh -huh. Seiko RP. It's always going to be the Seiko. The one that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, did. yes, I remember that one. I'm not as fond of that one. I do like King Seikos. King Seikos, yeah, those are also very cool. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Yes, and the, and the uh, tag, of course, you can. Omega so is what you said. Yeah, I've been trying to get a C star for quite a while. Oh. I have a, I have a I'm limit. Gonna, I'm going to have to cut you off. Okay, we'll cut me off. Go ahead. You, we, we, can, we can do this <laughs> after. Get, like I said, you know what will happen? Out. We'll get like 9 million watch guys watching this. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And they'll be like, Keanu, can you design me a watch? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Okay. How do they work? We have another business, Atlantic. Watch, Atlantic knife, Atlantic yeah. watch. Yeah, don't don't tempt him. <laughs> he'll, he'll he'll take it up to the bean. He'll be like, "That's a good idea. Can we make money on that?" All right, go ahead. Your 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 turn. All right, so where are we at on this You're one over here? here? Yeah. All right, so let me skip down to this one. So, out of everything that you've done or haven't done, what is your favorite knife? We know it's difficult to narrow it down. We know. I don't know. It, I bet it is. My favorite knife. In, in just in general in general yeah it didn't have to be yours i'd love for it to be yours but you know i i want it to be mine but it's actually i wish i had it here to show you guys but it's actually the knife that my father had so he he passed when i was uh, a freshman in high school oh wow um, so but i still have the knife that i'm pretty sure like the only knife that he had right he was that kind of guy just one one knife that's i watched one knife yeah right? That's it. That mm -hmm. and a, and a uh, Victorinox. But anyway, this knife, that's my favorite knife. I don't even know what it is, but it's a Winchester, I think. Winchester brand. Probably something you get at Walmart or something. Mm -hmm. Winchester, it's got, it's like a inset frame lock. And it's got these wooden handle. Like oh, it has to have wooden handles with pins. With pins. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, it's yes, a must have. Yes. And it's a uh, half serrated. It's like a, maybe the side. Oh, it's a combo. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 yeah combo. I, I can it. definitely I understand that. I don't use it ever. I don't carry it. I just safe, safe, keep it, you know, but that is a, it's an emotional piece. So that's, that's my favorite knife. Can't argue with that. Can't knife. even get mad. He's got a winch. That's a Winchester USA, by the way. I bet it yes. is. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That makes oh, a difference. Yeah. It does. It does make a difference. All right. All right. And then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We know there are uh, tons of people out there that love knives and gear, you know, using them, collecting them, designing them, making them, of course, talking about them, uh, obviously. So is there anything in particular you'd like to say to fellow knife and gear enthusiasts, designers, makers, anything you want to pass on to them? I have a big Keanu sign I would hold up right now. <laughs> Don't forget my name. Or each, each of us have a letter. Blade Show. <laughs> Oh man, we're getting deep again, kind of, I think. Well, I, uh, I mean, I can say so much, right? It kind of depends on who's on the other end, but I feel like there's a, there's so many people who are just scratching the surface of the, they're just getting into knives, right? I mean, there's a, I would say our community's growing. I attended uh, Blade Show Atlanta this year, and they're telling us that, you know, this is one of the biggest mm -hmm. uh, turnouts in a while. And so, you know, as an industry, we're really happy to see that, uh, that, that being the case and so I know I have some friends who have reached out to me said Keanu I want to get a knife I don't know what to do right so it's just really good to see uh, new collectors new people in the join the community so to those people I, I say just enjoy every second of it I mean uh, if you're if you're debating getting a knife don't think about it just pull the trigger worry about the money later I'm just I like it I like that I like one. this one <laughs> this is good they'll blow it on something else that's what I always say you know what if you gave me fifty dollars 
and I didn't buy a knife, I would buy something else. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But no, um, it's just so fun. Like your your life will be so much more fun if you have a knife in your pocket. That's my opinion. <laughs> always something to talk about, and you always need one. Hmm? Yeah, that's yep. right. And yeah, I was cool. never a flashlight guy, but now I got a flashlight like everywhere I go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's you like, realize uh, you, you're downstairs in the basement, and all of a sudden the power goes off, and you're like, instead of the words that you would normally use, you just reach to your pocket and go, huh? Yeah, Can't beat yeah. that. Huh? That's huh. all you got? That's, no. hey, that's all I got. Like, I'm, I'm a simple guy. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. that's great. All right, well, is there anything else? Uh, no, we can no? wrap them up nicely. Oh, we can wrap it up in a nice little bow. All right. Well, with that, a huge thank you to Keanu for, uh, you know, sharing your insights on knife design and, the, you know, dedication it takes to achieve your goals because he got deep on us. He did, didn't he? He did. He, he, he did. That's got to be worth some views, doesn't it? It is. It is. Go ahead. All right. So, uh, absolutely, it's clear that each knife tells a story blending art and functionality. Thanks for putting up with us. I know that some of us are hard to put up with. Some of us. Mm -hmm. I, I deal with her every day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. I'm, I'm, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> I just did that. All right. And if you guys are as inspired as we are, uh, be sure to check out Keanu's work and, you know, maybe add a unique knife to your collection via Atlantic Knife. Mm -hmm. We have several of, of Keanu's designs and, oh, wow. I got my turtle punk. Your turtle punk. I went oh. with that crazy color too. Oh, did you? You yes, just happened to go with it. I actually liked it. Max Ace did it a long time ago, something similar, and I liked it, so ah. I was and that's, getting it. And that's your turtle punk? It is now. Ah, yeah, I don't think it is. It, um, my thumb just flipped it. You can check out, uh, so your thumb it's flipped it, pocket. and therefore it's yours? It's gotta be mine. Okay, and you guys can check out all those knives um, in the link down below. All right, so with that, I'm seeing this was. You, say your name. Say your name, Keanu, say it. Keanu. Keanu, can't beat that. And I'm Jewel, just Jewel. Signing off.